Breaking news right now on CBS 2 News of 5. New video just into our newsroom showing a car registered to Anne Haish racing by minutes before the actress was reportedly crashed into a house, sparking a fire. Hi, everyone. I'm Susie Sa in tonight for Pat Harvey. And good evening, everyone. I'm Ross Palumbo in tonight for Jeff Vaughn. TMZ is now reporting that actress Anne Haish was behind the wheel of that car that crashed into a home in Mar Vista. And she may have suffered serious burns. TMC, TMZ just sharing this photo with us. It reportedly shows Haish behind the wheel after she had a fender bender in the parking lot of an apartment building. Well, moments later, witnesses say she took off in her car and plowed right into a home nearby. That house is on Walgrove Avenue in Appleton Way. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live on scene with the breaking details. And Rachel, it looks like they just towed that car from the home. Mm. They did, Ross and Susie, but first I want to show you what's behind me. You can see some of the uh, damage and debris left behind when that car came crashing into this home. It was left red tagged and the woman who lives here extremely shaken. Now, moments ago, we obtained exclusive ring video showing the vehicle obtained or owned by Anne Haish speeding down the street before it launched into this house. Take a listen to the screeching and the thud of the crash seconds later. <laughs> TMZ is reporting this now mangled Mini Cooper was driven by actress Anne Haish. LAPD is not confirming that, but we can confirm that the car is registered to the actress. Let's now take a look at some more video from a short time ago. We've been here all day, and the car that crashed into the home was just pulled out by a tow truck. Authorities say just before 11 a.m., the woman driving this car was speeding down Preston Way, lost control, hit the curb, went through the bushes, and launched into the home. The car went almost all the way through. The driver was trapped, but firefighters soon arrived and used heavy equipment to get her out of the car. Let's now go to another piece of video. This video showing the woman on a stretcher flailing and, according to neighbors, screaming at the time. Authorities say she suffered burns and was taken to the hospital in critical condition. LA City Fire tells us when the car crashed, it caught on fire and the fire started spreading into the home, resulting in flames and a whole lot of smoke. Inside the house at the time, the woman who was renting the home, her next door neighbor explained what she told him. She was in the house at the time and the car stopped like two feet away from where she was sitting, so she was pretty lucky. How's Lynn doing? She's in shock you know still hasn't hit her yet said they couldn't there's nothing left in the house everything's ruined LAPD tells us right now they are treating this as a standard traffic collision investigation, but they say if investigators uh, find signs of alcohol or drug use, any signs of impairment, they will be conducting a sobriety test, but right now a standard traffic collision investigation. As you can imagine, a lot of scary moments for people who live around this neighborhood and, of course, the woman who lives inside this house. For now, we'll send it back to you. 